Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. We are so excited. Uh, you're going to remind us what we already know. I think the things you're talking about, about don't oversharing, we know, but we get so comfortable with our lives, Jean, so remind us. You know, it's so interesting. About one in four people has been a victim of identity theft in this country already, according to a survey from LifeLock.com. And we can only go on the offensive when it comes to this. We have to protect ourselves by being smart about the different things that we're sharing both at home and while we're on vacation this summer. And so we can go through some steps that can help people just remember the right thing to do. All right, give us some tips. So I'd like my audience to walk away smarter and, and, and brighter today. We love that. So while you're at home, you wanna make sure that you are doing things like leaving your personal information in a very safe place. A lot of us walk in the door, we throw the mail on the kitchen counter, we just leave it there, and we don't think about the fact that there's a lot of identifying details in those credit card bills and that other mail that if somebody came into our house, either a, a workman who's, who's just doing a small job or we rent out our house through a service like an Airbnb, that information could really put us at risk for ID theft. Also, before you go on vacation, make sure that you cancel the mail. Make sure that you cancel the newspaper. You don't want to be giving signals to the world at large that you are gone. And slim down your wallet. You do not need to take every single credit card you own and every piece of identification you have on your vacation. You need one piece of ID. You need one or two credit cards, maybe a debit card. That's it. Put everything else in a safe or a safe deposit box where you can retrieve it when you get home. And then once you're on the road, the LifeLock survey showed that about a quarter of all of us say that we have left things before in taxis, in Ubers. Got to be careful with this stuff. And if you are going to leave it, make sure that, again, it doesn't do you a lot of harm. So that phone of yours, you ought to be able to shut it down remotely. It ought to be password protected. If you leave your wallet someplace, you need to have a list of all your credit cards and other information somewhere else so that you can quickly call those card companies and get them shut down. And if you're on vacation, I know everybody loves to share their information, share their pictures. Woohoo, we're having a great time in Acapulco. Wait until you get home and send a hashtag latergram. Hey, we had a great time in Acapulco, but we're back home and you can't come and rob us. Those are all really, really smart tips. I love what you're saying because they're quantifiable. Because I hired someone. I work at home also, too. And I hired someone that I'd known for a long time to work one summer. And they took my Social Security number oh, and they no. opened credit cards in my name, my aunt's name. Because you're right, my mail was there. I felt comfortable. And you do have to safeguard your home. So I know you know what you're talking about, Jean. And just tell everybody, I mean, how much of a hassle was that to deal with on the back end? It, it's hard enough. Preventing identity theft is not something that we can do perfectly. But going on the offensive is the best defense that we have. So strong passwords, checking your credit report through annualcreditreport.com, subscribing to a service like LifeLock, all of those are good offensive measures because, as you know, if you're victimized, it is a real hassle. To I was the, the I was the uh, uh, culprit. I really was. When I went to my bank, they almost interrogated me. Uh, yeah. I had to get a lawyer, and I'm just sharing that so people know that 
It's not simply calling your bank and telling them you've got your credit card stolen. It's a whole lot more, Jean, and I know you know that. I totally, I totally know that. And, and this is why, you know, I'm of the mind that somebody has to do the work to protect your identity. And if you're not going to do it yourself, then it's worth buying a service to do it for you. All right. A lot of people, i got to say this, a lot of people, they, they don't trust a service. Tell me, uh, how can they find out more about LifeLock, or where you, where would you send them? I'd send them to LifeLock.com to find out more information, and I'd send them to AnnualCreditReport.com to check their credit report on their own for free. Well, Jean Chasky, as you know, she's the uh, finan- financial editor for the NBC Today Show and also a best-selling author. And her recent book is Operation Money. You get yourself a copy, and I think you'll be smart like Jean. Jean, thank you, as always, for great information to change our lives. Thanks.